Oh, I'm Dean Holloway, watch my interview on Hibernia TV. Dean, this weekend is the Player of the Year award ceremony and obviously you've been uh, named the Leadingham Trophy winner for this season. What's your reaction to that, please? I'm um, delighted to get well, obviously we've had a good season, a few defeats in that, but pretty well. And uh, There's been a lot of us, it's been good, so it's a privilege to get it. Is it the highlight of your career so far, would you say? Uh, aye, it is. Definitely. How would you evaluate the season then? Because we started off with a couple of defeats, then we got into a run of form, then we, you know, the wheels came off after kind of Christmas time, but we finished on a, on a high. It's a bit of a roller coaster ride, all right? It was well. We started well, we played well, but just weren't getting the results. And then we went, I think it was seven unbeaten before Christmas. And then obviously the Scottish Cup against St. Mirren, just don't want to speak about that. But uh, after that, it was like you said, we went off the wheels. So I think it was come on up. Lost two games in the trot and then obviously beating Hearts and getting beat with Celtic. But started the end of the season strongly. So. Obviously at the start of the season you were involved with the first team as well, trained with the first team and obviously you featured in Ian Murray's testimonial match. What do you remember about that? Well we played on the Saturday at Kilmarnock and then James said uh, you're playing the testimonial. So I just felt like I was just going along to watch but when I was named on the bench and then obviously coming off for Vieira and that's dream come true basically. Was it surreal coming on for like, one of the world's uh, most famous footballers? I, think I, I thought it was only about five minutes but I think I got about half an hour. And obviously coming off for Vieira as well, just unreal. Obviously rewinding as well to the uh, Youth Cup match against Hearts, big crowd at Easter Road, great win, was that special to be part of? Well, well obviously beating Hearts is always special, but to do it at Easter Road in front of everybody as well, because obviously they beat us in the league, and they beat them at Easter Road and that, just unreal. How good was it as well to beat Hearts back here at East Mains? Because They'd obviously beaten us at Rickerton. We looked as if the, the game was in the bag for us, didn't it? 2-1 two, uh, two up, I believe, uh, um, heading into two the score. But then they scored two goals out of nothing. Uh, that was a massive hammer blow, wasn't it, for the season? So do you feel, to some extent, that was kind of justice served? Uh, well, I wouldn't say revenge, but obviously they were above us in that, and they thought they were the better team, but they showed that on the day they were better than them. Would you have liked to, I mean, I know that goes without saying that you would have liked to have won either the league or the cup this year to kind of commemorate it and say, well, this was a decent uh, Hibs youth side, but to what extent do you feel the, the important is to, to progress upwards into the senior squad? Uh, well, obviously, you want to win the league and the uh, cup, but the main thing is getting to the first team and reserves and that, so uh, I would say that. Which, uh, which of the first team players do you kind of look up to that you kind of perhaps work alongside in? you look at? to try and model your game on? Well, obviously the younger midfielders like Louis Stevenson and David Washburn, I ask them for advice on that and helpful, so it's based my game on them. And how have you found working under the new manager as well? Because uh, it was Colin Caldwell that kind of um, introduced you to the first team squad to begin with, it's now obviously Patman, and how, how's that all worked? Ah, the gaffers, uh, I've trained them a few times and played in the reserve game, so hopefully I just keep catching his eye and maybe get a few shot now again. So objectives for next season then, because it's the under 20 league now, it's been expanded, so technically you're still a youth player, but you'll be a year older. What's your mindset towards that? Well, uh, I think, I'm not completely in their 20s, but I think they're talking about loan in that, so right. we'll see what it is in pre-season, and then hopefully maybe train with the first team in that and try to kick off with that. What have you heard from the likes of Danny Handley and Jordan Forster then, because they've obviously gone out on loan, do you feel that it's going to be a beneficial step for you? Well, it's first team football and there's like, I think it's harder than the league's getting like more physical on that, so obviously it'll toughen us up, so maybe we could do with that for a couple, six months or something, and then come back stronger.